Hi Aquarius, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready to do your June 2019 reading for the beautiful Aquarian Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so before I begin, I meditated on the, the universal message for all signs, which is we are at a <clears throat> point of... Um, of knowledge whereby when we make decisions, we need to be cognizant of do we make our decisions based on fear or do we make our decisions based on love? So we are needing to break the barriers of fear-based decisions and transmute them into a loving uh, decision, right? Making decisions based upon how we really feel in our hearts, right? Um, so for those of you, whatever fear of, you know, fear of moving on, fear of letting go, fear of second chances, fear of self-sabotaging, anything that's egoic is something that we're fearful of, right? And the ego likes to keep us in that place where we don't feel and instead we're constantly like all those fear-based negative thoughts you know that that we always tend to have well not always but you know what i'm saying we do have that so breaking the barriers of those fear based anything in your life is what the message is for the month of june probably more than just june but let's start there okay and understanding how we make our decisions based upon one or the other okay all right and for those i'm also hearing for those of you who are in that 11th hour of giving up you know when they say it's darkest before the dawn it is truly um an accurate philosophical statement um, I have also am surprising um, all signs from here on in I'm bringing in a couple new little fun things for the readings that I use um, in my practice all right so let's keep it rolling with the beautiful Aquarian Sun Moon Rising and Venus if this doesn't resonate, it's always good to check your moon arising, okay? And even Venus, because Venus is all about love, right? Okay. These are shuffling really nice, by the way. Very clean shuffle. Yeah, I mean, really a clean shuffle. Very nice. You guys got your, um, got your act together here. All right. Let's let's do one more. You know what? I'm gonna do uh, chocolate. Just I'm gonna do one more shuffle so that you can see it on camera. Okay, one more. Look at there you are. I love it. Okay, now we can continue the reading. For June, for the beautiful sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely healing from past pain, past upset. Those who have hurt you, now these swords are out of your back and you have healed. Starting new, starting a whole new life. Anyone from your past, exactly, right? Healing from your past. Anyone that hurt you and really tried to break you down, that's gone. A feeling of relief, a feeling of freedom, I'm feeling. This has freed you to, to really go after that which is most important for you, okay? Okay, 
Let's keep going. Let's see what else. I mean, we don't have the story. We don't ha have the complete story yet. Look at this. Ooh, I love it. The old ways of thinking brings prosperity, abundance, right, right through that gate. It's waiting for you. See, so that's what happens. I mean, really and truly, exactly what I said. When one door closes, another door opens. Do you see how that happens? I love this. And you know, this is why I, it, let me just say, I, I, will, I will let you know now, because this is a prime example of what the, one of the surprises that I have done is I've took, I've, I've took, I've taken all of the philosophical sayings, not all of them, but some of my favorites, yes? There's 90 of them, and I've incorporated them into cards for each sign, okay? So when one door, one of the cards I know that's in here, it would be really crazy if it came out, but when one door closes, another opens, and look at this, what happens, right? So Aquarius, you have closed the door to your past, and now you have reaped the beautiful, abundant new beginning that you so deserve. And then I also am bringing in crystal for healing. My, you know, crystals are for healing. So we're going to do that after your reading. But I brought that in because I do, I do provide crystal healing, essential oil healing, and Reiki healing, you know, everything that can help to ultimately raise us out of fear-based mentality into love-based mentality. All right, and that's exactly what you're doing here. So let me put this down back again now that I just did that rant. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. You have a decision to make. You have a decision to make within the next two months. It's funny, Capricorn got it as well. So it could be your money about money, about new direction, letting go of the past and starting a whole new direction, but you're still kind of in your head. Still still got some negative thinking going on with the eight of swords here. And look, oh dear. Okay, so you've gotten out of the past and into your new beginning but you're still holding on to some negative thoughts that need to be let go. You need to release any obsessive thinking, anything that is dragging you down. Okay? You got to make a decision and it's based you need to you need to get out of this this fear of of negative thinking. That's the fear that you need to get out of. You need to bring yourself back into a place of empowerment. Okay, you do have an external Aries here. If this is in your chart, this is you. Looking good, looking strong. Getting ready to walk through this doorway of abundant prosperity, happiness, love. This is having it all. Come on. What is holding you back? Getting out of your head. Making that decision to get out of negative thinking. I've been probably telling Aquarians about this negative thinking for a while. Because that's what holds you back. You need to get out of that so that you can move toward abundant beginnings, new beginnings. Not being scared to make the decision to get out of your head and into your heart. Okay, let's get a couple more here. What's happening? Here we go. Not holding on to too tightly. Yep. No longer holding on too tightly to anything, especially your negative thoughts. Trying to allow, this is what your focus is in June, allowing life to just go and do what it's going to do. The wheel's going to turn, and when the wheel turns, listen, Aquarius, 
when this wheel turns and writes itself up, your money sector is going to write itself up. So when these turn around, you're going to finally make the decision, which is here, you're gonna decide that staying in your head is not empowering you, right Aquarius? Staying in your head's not empowering you. The wheel's gonna turn itself up, you're gonna let go of these negative thoughts and you're going to make a whole new beginning prosperity, happiness, abundance, and get back your power. This is beautiful. You're letting go completely, but you have to let go of the negative thought processes. You know, that happens. I mean, you can't, you can't, the only thing you can do is be mindful of the way you think. When a negative thought comes in, we need to break the barrier, get through into that, Realize that it's fear-based and turn this baby around. And then this goes like this. See? It now looks like this. Holding on, waiting for the wheel to turn. But it's not turning because you're holding on to negative thoughts. I can't, I shouldn't, I wouldn't, I couldn't. Oh my God. Then when it turns over, when it writes itself up, you're no longer holding on too tightly to these thoughts. You're letting go and allowing the universe to show you the way. A little, with a little more, a lot more, excuse me, with a lot more than you came in with. Because what is this called? This is called trusting in the universe. Trusting in the universe not holding on too tightly, that which you can't control, which is your thoughts. You can control your thoughts. So take your power back and control your thoughts. Make the decision to be really mindful of the way you think so that you can manifest. And these can write themselves up so you can manifest what you really want and what you really deserve is to get your power back. Is it financial? It certainly can be. You're thinking. You're thinking too much about the lack. You're holding on. You're holding on too tightly and you're not trusting the universe to show you the way to this huge, abundant happiness, place of power, and using you, utilizing that power for the betterment of humanity, mind you. Literally, mind you. <laughs> okay? That's how it works. So allow the universe to turn that around for you and don't hold on too tightly, okay? That's a beautiful, beautiful message. Go with your heart. Let everything be spoken, felt, and thought through love. And that's what you're, that's what you're going to do in the month of June. How did we get here? Well, we we were kind of in the illusion, right? This is illusion. Illusions of, oh, I can't make a decision. I'm not seeing clearly, right? Her eyes are closed. She's not seeing the reality of how her thoughts manifest her reality. She being just because it's in the card not because it's, it is not gender specific, okay? So that's what the Aquarians are doing right now, getting out of that illusionary state and feeling the love in your heart, going with your heart instead of your logical thoughts of negative thinking. And that's what's gonna turn this wheel around for you, okay? And you figured it out in the month of June, how that's gonna go down. Yes? Okay, so let's continue with that. It, This is balancing out everything. And you know now that these, um, the, the, you're gonna get more out of your emotions than you are your thoughts. That's what you're figuring out. And that will balance you. It will balance your bank account. Hello, hello. 
it will put everything into perspective. Once you change your perspective, and that's what you've done. This is beautiful, Aquarius. You've changed your perspective knowing that your thoughts are not going to get you very far. In June, you're going to say, oh, you know what? I'm not seeing clearly. I know I've got to change my perspective and make a decision to go with your heart. The message is changing your perspective, knowing that everything in your world will balance itself out if you continue your thoughts you're not going to get far. You're going to get this. If you hold on to negative thinking and not go with your heart, you will continue to get, you won't let this wheel spin. Allow the wheel to spin so that you can reap the rewards of abundant new beginnings through what? Through love. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's get some clarifying cards on the story. Okay? Really beautiful. All right, look. You need to take that leap of faith. Take the leap of faith in loving and love and knowing that love conquers all. And that fear holds you back. The thought of... Aquarius, look, the thought of the lack that you're thinking that you have not enough is what you need to relinquish, hold of. Trust is the word for the month for Aquarius. Trust in your heart to lead you, to lead the way to your happiness and abundance. Are you speaking your truth? Right? You've got to turn the page now. It's time, Aquarius. Turn the page. The past is gone. Turn the page. Past mentality thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm talking about is your thinking. The way that you think. You're turning the page. You're changing. You're turning. A new chapter is unfolding in your life. And that is going to get you this wheel to change and turn and bring back a whole new chapter of abundance and love and power. Power through the love. Power of love. Hello. Power of love right here. That's your new chapter. That's what it's going to be in that's what it's going to be titled. The power of love. The power of love to bring in the happiness. Wow, that's beautiful. Let's do it. Look at that. The harvest begins once you let go of the mentality of not being enough, not having enough. The whole thing. Someone in the past made you feel that way. Well, that is gone. Now you're getting what you so rightfully deserve. You've got to stay out of your thoughts. I'm telling you. Look. Hello. Please listen, Aquarius. You have a choice. You do. You have a choice to change your whole world. But you've got to change this by letting the wheel trust in the universe. You don't want to keep going through this cycle of negative thought processes. Constant. You want to turn it around and trust the universe knows better than you do. What is good for you? Get out of your negative thoughts. This is what you're being tempted with. Lack. It's coming back. It's like coming back around. You want this wheel to turn and not come back around. Write the chapter, the new chapter, without old behavioral patterns of constantly thinking negative and that you now can build a solid foundation for yourself from the ground up. It's all about how you feel about yourself. 
in the past. I'm going to take it right here. I've got to, I've got to tell you what's happening so I can help you. In the past, you were beaten down by these negative thoughts, not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy. Now you have a chance to rectify it and change your, the Kundalini is rising here. Look, it's rising. No more hanging on to, I'm not good enough. No more hanging on to, I'm not good enough. Get out of that thought mentality and get into the mentality of what you really represent here. It's fear versus love here. For self, this foundation is you. What are you going to choose, Aquarius? Are you going to choose fear? Hold on, let me get it. Are you choosing fear mentality or love, love thoughts mentality? Fear thought, love thought, what are you choosing? This is exactly why the message came in as it did for all signs. Because this is what is holding you guys back. You need to rebuild a foundation that's stable. Your kundalini is rising. It's time now to get rid of that old thought. The thoughts. This is where the fear wants you to stay. Your ego. It's all about your ego. I mean, come on. It's your ego. I'm not talking about this being bad. I'm just actually saying we're shedding this we need to shed this fear-based mentality break through have this breakthrough so that you can give love give into love give into the magic that's waiting for you wow what a message a message the message is so in it's so amazing it's strong too. Look at now we're celebrating. Hallelujah. We're out of this. We made the decision in June coming the next month or two. When you view this, you will be getting out of that. You will thank the, the past. You're going to thank this past. You're going to thank it. And then you're releasing it. Send it off with love. Send whatever past hurts. Those who stabbed you in the back, send everyone, each and every one with love. Don't let it consume you. Bottom of the deck, writing the new story, yes? Take back your power, my friends. This is who Aquarians really are all about. Power of love. I'm telling you, it's the power. It's the power of love. This is what your reading is about. The power of love over fear. It could not be any clearer. It's beautiful. And you are taking your power back. Wow. I love it, love it, love it. Let's look at what the Ascended Masters have to say. Oh, yes. It brings you to a peaceful state of knowing. Wow. I just, all I can say is wow. You're still healing a little from, yeah. You need to clear. You need to clear your energy. I'm saying I'm really serious. You do. The universe is asking Aquarians to clear your energy. Start saging. Sage your home. Sage yourself. Go outside in nature. Nature has healing properties. Meditate. It's all here. You've learned your lessons. And now you have peace. Okay. Let's get a few cards from the Ascended Masters for Aquarians. Stay focused on the prize. 
What's the prize? Love. Love. Look it. Katumi's eyes are blue. Spiritual love. You're being guided by spirit. Love. Rejoice in knowing you are loved. Rejoice in the love of knowing that the prize is you. You are the prize. Drink more water. Find your strength and courage to make choices that are all love-based. Healing. Just to need a little more time to heal so that your whole semblance of self can be at peace. Sending, sending your past the love that it deserves. Maybe you still have an issue with your past. You need to close that chapter. It's going to give you a, a feeling of peace once you do. Once you've cleared the past completely, which you're going to, that's one of your also one of your decisions, is to send this love and close this chapter so a new chapter will open for you. So that you will feel that love. And you're now rebooting your Kundalini for sure. Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There we go. Express yourself with love to yourself. This expression is for your thoughts. To remain true to yourself. Through prayer and focus. You will speak only what you truthfully know in your heart of hearts and that will give you a peaceful state of mind and that's when you know that you've healed. And you're now able to rebuild on solid ground with love and happiness and abundance. So really and truly, you're breaking literally out of this barrier. This speaks volumes for you guys. It's purifying you on every level from the ground up. No more mental craziness, negative mental thoughts, negative thinking. No more. You're purifying your thoughts with love. That's a beautiful reading, my friends. Really beautiful. Okay, now let's get on with the show. Yes, I wrote 90 of these. They're, these are philosophical sayings that we've grown up with, all of us, right? No one's exempt from it. We've all, when one door closes, another opens, things like that. Those are philosophical sayings. Two came out for you. Wow. Oh my God, Aquarius. Dream as if you will live forever. Because guess what, my friends? Love lives forever. Aim for the moon. If you miss it, you may hit a star. Aim for the moon. For if you miss it, you may hit a star. And this is you. Shoot for the moon. And if you miss it, you're going to get that star. You're rewriting your whole life right here. Your foundation is going to be 
Your foundation is being all about love. Dream as if you will live forever. And this is what happens. What? Love lives on. Love lives forever. Love does not die. I love it. Wow. This is such a good reading. This is so, it's surreal. It really is. Okay. Here are my crystal cards for you, my beautiful Aquarians. Here are my crystals that I use for my practice. I do have and sell crystals and essential oils. We are going to take these crystals. You're going to see, I need you to see my face. I'm going to close my eyes and pick a crystal for just for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am feeling the crystal energy that most is most needed for June 2019. It's this one. A lot of signs are getting this, the quartz, the quartz crystal. Now, this is small enough. There are, they come whatever size you want, right? This is good for hold, you know, just keeping it in your pocket. You don't have to tell anyone you have the crystal in your pocket. It's just for you, right? This is all about you. At home, you can have a quick crystal clear quartz at home, okay? Huge, huge spiritual, the kundalini, opening the kundalini with this is huge, right? Opening all your chakras. It clears them out, hence that's why it's a clear quartz. The quartz reads, because this just came for, I think, Capricorn. Known as the master healer because it channels any energy and it helps any condition, improving the quality of life by making you feel happier and re-energized. You really need this crystal, Aquarius. Attuning you to your spiritual purpose. Huge. This will attune you to your spiritual purpose. Okay. The clear quartz. It's the master healer on every level. Isn't that great? Isn't that fun? All right. So I'm going to keep the philosophical cards in place with the crystals for each of the readings from now on. I'm going to read this again to you. Dream as if you'll live forever. Aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. I send you much love and much, many, many blessings. Always follow the love. Love never dies. Okay. Uh, if you need anything, healing, guidance, I'm here for you. Bye.